What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you, welcome. And if you're not new here, shout out to you because I'm trying, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying. I really do appreciate it. Let's get into this look because this is a classic, timeless, elegant, sexy look. It pairs so well with black attire. Date night. Bro, he buying you that steak and lobster. He's taking you home. Okay, this is the look. It's... Mm. Mm. Before you forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep on watching. Today is a special video because today's my birthday. Today is my birthday. She's a Virgo. She's 23. She is me. <laughs> I actually did this look for my cousin's 22nd birthday when we went to Atlantic City. So that's what we about to do today. So, so I recently got my hair straightened. So yeah, I got a silk press. She's still very flat, but I'm gonna fix my hair later. Okay, so I already prepped my face. I'm just adding a little bit of Vaseline to my lips. If you're new here, I like to do my eyebrows off camera and I have an eyebrow tutorial. If you're interested in that, I have that on my channel and I'll link it down below as well. I really don't recall if I use the eyeshadow primer or not, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in the shade Tan Deep Sand. I'm just going to pop a little bit on the eyes. I don't wanna do too much because we're just doing a eyeshadow we're not doing anything crazy and bold taking a morphe e20 brush i'm just going to pat this all over the lid and you want to use a concealer that's not too bright because like i said we're not doing any eyeshadow we just want to even out the eye and also create a nice base for those eyeshadows to hold on to so I actually use the ColourPop Blow and Smoke palette for this eyeshadow look and we're just going to be using a black eyeshadow and also maybe a transition shade or a brown shade. I know some people like to smoke out their wing liner with another brown but honestly this is how I did it in my Instagram look. I'm going to pop a picture of the photo that I'm referencing. I didn't get any close photos so that's why I wanted to film this look and just have a moment for it. I'll insert some Instagram photos somewhere on the screen so you guys can see the look that I'm referring to. I'm going to take the shade Let's Do It. It, which is this matte black you can use any black eyeshadow it's really not that serious so i'm using this color pop angled eyeliner brush i believe this brush is perfect and thin for this so what you want to do is create a wing so i'm gonna pull out my eyeshadow i'm gonna pull out my eyeshadow to the tail of my brow and i'm gonna also do the same thing for this one this one always come out different from this one i should start doing this one but i'm just more comfortable doing this one so that's what we're gonna do but before we get into the wing i'm just going to line my top lid and it's perfectly normal to get fallout you can always clean that up later so that was actually the easy part let's get into this wing you want to do a fairly thin wing because you're going to smoke it out so don't try to go a little overboard And the good thing about this look is that it don't have to be perfect because it's smoky, but you still want some type of structure to this. So I have a rough draft of my wing, nothing crazy. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. As you can see, the corner of my wing, it doesn't cut exactly up to the tail, but you know, somewhere in that region. So I don't know if you guys could tell the difference, but this one is actually looking a little bit crazy. So we're gonna clean that up. Just take in these Q-tips. These Q-tips are not the traditional Q-tip. They're pointed. And then this side is actually flat. So it's actually a makeup applicator. These were actually a dollar at Primark. I love Primark, real handy. I'm using my micellar cleansing water. Taking some there. You can also do this with concealer, but I try to use this sometimes. I don't know why. This eyeliner never comes out symmetrical. It's always a different type of wing but okay so this looks fine for me like i said it does not have to be perfect this is a morphe m431 this is a nice pencil brush when i actually originally did this look i just took the black eyeshadow and i just started freehanding it but i'm trying to do it a more neater strategic way so this already had like excess black on it because i didn't clean it just to be honest and i'm just gonna start smudging the top of that line 
But don't try to take it too high because as soon as you start to smudge this, it already kind of does that for you. My skin looks crazy. Update on Fenty Skin. My skin is still recovering if you have not seen my video on Fenty Skin. Check that out to see what really happened. So I'm just using this pencil brush to smudge this eyeshadow. And you really want to utilize the tip of that brush. So look at the difference from smudging it and not smudging it. You can see this one is not as neat and it's more blurred. I'm gonna switch gears a bit. This is a Morphe M507 brush. I'm gonna take a little dip. Okay, so as you can see, it's getting more smudged. Look at this eye versus this eye. I'm not gonna take it too high because that's when things go wrong. That's when things get a little crazy over there. And I think I'm liking where this is at so far. This is a Morphe M152. I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Z palette and I'm gonna take the shade, I'm gonna take the shade Creme Brulee, which is really similar to my skin tone. I'm just grazing the edges of the black just so I could kind of, I don't know what it does, but I'm gonna try to explain to you in a minute. But yeah, I'm feeling good right Right now I've been just trying to take it day by day pretty much like we're not in control of a lot of things especially during these times so I just feel like all we could do is be grateful and stay positive and that's just what I'm trying to do in general stop giving myself excuses just be me so I think 23 should be interesting I'm just trying to honestly just be me and be more comfortable with being me if that makes sense if anyone else is out there that wants to go through change and they're just trying to find a way to go and make those changes in their life i would just say stay positive because i feel like that's the best we can do surround yourself with people who make you feel good because you only have one life and now my model now every day is just just do it because i don't want to sit here and like be like oh i should have done that i wish i would have done that i don't want to live a life full of regret so you never know what's gonna happen we can god forbid die tomorrow especially 2020 showed us not to take anything for granted there's a lot of people who didn't even get to see this day and i'm just honestly so grateful for that so i'm not taking my life for granted i am living my best life be more comfortable with being uncomfortable and my good sister dendra told me that and those words really stuck with me because i feel like that's really what i've been trying to do and i just didn't know how to put those in words i'm just trying to be more comfortable with being uncomfortable because i'm uncomfortable a lot like i don't want to get too deep into mental health but i get anxiety and flustered and i'm a huge overthinker first of all i'm a virgo so we already overanalyze and overthink everything when you have anxiety you're already overthinking and everything so it's just like times two like i might just be going through so many things like it's wild but i look like a raccoon it's okay at the end of the day i'm just trying to be alexis because that's who i am so i'm taking that creme brulee shade and i'm just packing it on the lid just a little bit I'm just gonna get a fluffy brush to disperse that a bit. That shade is pretty much a skin tone like shade, so that's what you want to gravitate for. Take a skin tone shade eyeshadow to just set that base. My under eye looks crazy, but don't worry, we're gonna clean that up. I know I look like I got a black eye. I'm actually gonna do my base off camera because you guys probably seen it. I have a highlight and contour routine on my channel, so if you wanna see that, check that out. I'm not gonna do it in this video, I'm sorry if you are new here and this is your first time clicking on this video, so you haven't seen it before. For, but just to let you know that is on my channel so i'll be right back powder just oof. can't believe some people go outside with no powder on because honey i baked and all of that good stuff contoured highlight foundation so now i'm actually gonna apply a little bit more powder on my eyes so we can hit this waterline and my choice of powder today i mean it's not really a choice it's kind of just a lifestyle right now this is the fenty banana and I'm going to actually line my waterline with a Bata Black Base from P. Louise. And I'm going to be using this Morphe 250-0 brush. I'm just going to stick it right in, honestly. So what I love about these bases is that you can use them for eyeshadow, you can use them for eyeliner, whatever. Then I'm going to spread that on the back of my hand. Doesn't have to be too neat because we're going to use black eyeshadow to also smoke that out. Okay, so we have the black eyeliner on. Perfect. And you can leave it like this. I'm just going to let it dry down a little bit. So in the meantime, I'm going to prep my lashes and then go back to the lower eyelash. So I'm going to take this black, same black we were using all day, matte black. And I'm just going to press that 
onto that base that we just applied right in that lash line. I also have this really pretty black shimmer. Let's try to put that on top. Maybe it will show up, maybe not. Luxie Flat Definer 221 brush. I'm gonna take that shimmery black, which is called Night Dream. I doubt it will show. Oh, it shows, okay. Just a little subtle black with flexes of shimmer in it. Ooh, I actually really like this. You guys probably won't be able to see this on camera, but there is like silver, purple, maybe even green and yellow flecks of shimmer in this black. So when the light catches the shimmer, it's really pretty. We gonna take these lashes before we forget. Just knocking this off real quick, cause you don't need this anymore. Pressing that into the skin, yes ma'am. I'm gonna apply a little bit of Fenty Full Frontal Mascara in Cause I'm Black, period. Let me add some more color back into my face cause I'm looking a little ghostly. A little Casper No Friendly Ghost. So I'm just gonna spray the face with the Mario Facial Mist. I'm gonna take my damp sponge. I'm just gonna run off the excess first. Press that all in. We're not done with the eyes just yet. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots. Like I said, it elevates a look. It elevates a look. So I'm just gonna dust that right in the center to do like a spotlight effect. And you can also put this on top of that black on the lower lashes if you want. But I'm just gonna keep that there. I'm just gonna get some black eyeliner. This is a NYX liquid matte. And I just want to make sure that that lash band is not showing. I'm gonna be careful and keep this real tight. Okay, so let's highlight the face. Let's try a new highlighter today. I'm gonna use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is the same brand of that powder that I always use, the translucent face powder. This is a loose face highlighter. And this is in the shade Glow for Gold. This is actually a really interesting highlighter. I feel like I don't have a highlighter like this one. I've tried this highlighter on bare skin and it looked amazing. I want to see how it looked on makeup. Oh. Okay. So it's a little deceiving in the pan because it looks kind of warm but also like rose gold at the same time. So I'm just taking this on the tops of my cheekbone. And it's so affordable. I got this at Walmart. Airspun is killing it. They just need to like consistently make good products and I feel like they can really like take over the drugstore. Yes, this highlighter is pretty. I'm gonna get my wet sponge just to make sure it's blended. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my brow bone. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this diamond bomb and I'm gonna put it on my cheekbone. Let's move on to blush. So for blush, I'm actually going to try a new blush. This is the She Glam in the shade Luster. This is a dupe for the NARS. So I'm going to try this. Oh shit, it looked too light. Abort! Abort, 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 abort. Yeah, this is deaf. Hold on, wait, it's blunting. Wait a second. Okay. Ooh. Or is that from the color from this brush? Hold on. I could have lived without that. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do some, I'm gonna just do some regular peachy blush. I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Peach Bellini palette. I'm gonna take the shade Life's a Peach. Ooh, you know what I think would be cute? That little flippy hairstyle that people be doing. I'm gonna take the ColourPop Lippy Liner and this is in the shade, I believe it's Bachette. It rubbed off, but I'll find it for you guys. And this is my favorite red. Let me wipe this off first. I know a lot of women who feel like they look like a clown in red lipstick. I beg to differ. So I just applied a lip liner all over the lips. Now I'm gonna go in with this colored rain, which is actually another black owned business. And this is in the shade Cherry Blossom. So this is probably one of the only few times I wear a liquid lipstick. Fun fact about this shade, this is actually what Rihanna wore to the VMAs in I believe 2017, maybe 2016. And I was actually there when she performed. It was really fun. So whenever that R9 comes out, I'm ready. I don't know if I was looking for the shade that she was wearing or I just happened to find what her makeup artist was using. And I just thought this red was so bomb. A lot of people don't like red lipstick. I feel like you have to find a red lipstick that's suitable for you. There's so many different shades. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't like the stark bright reds. I do 
think this red complements me well and that lip liner as well that's my favorite red lip ever so we're gonna let that dry and i'm gonna try to fix this hair because i don't know what i'm doing to this so i think i'm just gonna leave my hair straight i wish i had more volume so this is the completed look a simple red lip smoky wing black eyeliner this is classic this is timeless this is something that a lot of people could pull off if you don't like a red lip do a nude gloss do a brown lip it's fall like if anyone else had the same birthday as me let me know that would be so cool if you're watching this right now scroll down to the comments section for me just scroll stay on the video but comment down below let me know what's your zodiac sign if you don't like virgos I mean, I never heard of anyone who don't like a Virgo. If anyone is curious as to what's my like rising sign and stuff like that, all I know is I'm a Virgo, then there's a Cancer involved, and then I think a Taurus involved. I think I'm a rising. I don't know, I'm not good at that stuff. I'll put it in the description box if you guys are curious or I'll put it in the comment section. So let me know what you are. I know I'm late. You know, I barely made being a Virgo. I'm borderline Libra. I'm like a Virgo cusp Libra, but I have a lot of content coming soon. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm more active on Instagram. So I'll leave it somewhere here on the screen and down in the description box. And I'm active on there. You guys could know when I'm uploading a new video. I usually post like a little notification like I'm uploading a video in an hour, but I usually try to post new videos every friday if you guys are new here new videos are coming out every week and i'm just hoping i can stick to that so far so good and cut <laughs> bye guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one